Mayor Bloomberg started and was the founder and the sole funder of this group called Mayors Against Illegal Guns. He quickly joined forces with Boston Mayor Tom Menino, and then they grew their coalition by telling mayors all across the country that they were interested in going after criminals with firearms, which sounds like a pretty wise thing to do. But what they quickly found out and what we quickly found out is their true agenda was to go after legal guns to oppose right to carry efforts, to oppose common sense efforts on Capitol Hill. And what he's trying to do is build a coalition to go against the National Rifle Association and to dismantle this freedom piece by piece. They are trying to come up with a strategy to try to defeat supporters of the Second Amendment and elect opponents of the Second Amendment. I mean, not only do you have to, you know, try to grasp the fact that you lost your loved one, which is in itself a difficult thing. You have to think about how am I gonna pay my next bill? And I, I never ever had to worry about that. The community really just, just came out for us. There were so many things we didn't have to worry about because of all the support. And the NRA was a big part of that. The NRA was very good and they gave us $25,000 because of the life insurance policy. Uh, the program is based on membership. Any public law enforcement officer, which is city, county, state, federal, who is a member of the National Rifle Association, is eligible, if God forbid they're killed in the line of duty, their family can receive a $25,000 line of duty death benefit. One of the biggest things that I would like to see with our uh, line of duty death program is that the public law enforcement officers that are out there to be aware of this. We would hope and pray, especially through our good training, that no officer will ever, ever die in the line of duty again. But God forbid, if the claim does have to be made, rest assured your family will have some income coming in pretty quick from this benefit.